three, two, one, ignition, and lift off. Go Falcon, go GZ20. भारत दा मूले मुलेगु इंटर्नेट सेवेगलन्नों तलपिसुवा उद्धेश दिन्द अंतरिक्षक्के हारी बिडलागिरुवा GZN2 उपग्रहवु SSB आगी निगतित कक्षगे सेर पड़े आगिदे 3,2,1, ignition and lift off, go Falcon, go GZ20 अमेरिकदा फ्लोरिडा दल्लिरुवा स्पेस एक्स बहायकाश उडावन केंद्र दिन्दा पॉल्कन रॉकेट इस्रोधा सम्हान उपग्रह जी सेट यांटु वन्नु होत्तु सागितु उपग्रहवु कक्षगी सेरिद क्यलवे समयदल्ली उपग्रहवन्नु हासन दल्लिरुवा as you can see there on your screen, the MVAC engine is now lit in space and heading towards orbit. Coming up shortly, you should hear a call out for fairing separation. Bhoomi in the Sumaru, Muat Taru Savira Kilometer Dura the Kakshieli, E. Upagrahavan Sutali. G set and two Bartada, Ivaragina Athyadunika Samohana Upagrahavagi. वट्टु, नाक सवर्दा एल्णुरु केजी फेलोड होत्तिरुवा उपग्रहवु का बैंड ना अडि संपर्का सम्महानुवन्नु पोरै सुत्तदे इदु, प्रती सेकेंड गे 48 GBS2 माहित्यन्नु रवानिसुव सामर्थ्य होंदिदे इदु, देशद दूरद हल्डिगलल्ली Burning on the first stage and rapidly slowing us down. And this burn should last just around 20 seconds. Isro da Vanijya Anga Samsthe New Space India Limited Antarashtiya Samsthe Galundhige Vappanda Vanijya Vicharagalannu Gamani Sutta Dhe. SpaceX na juta gina ee udaavani ennu NSIL nirvai sali dhe. For meeting the high throughput communication requirements. It's primarily operating in K band. Uh, providing almost 48 gigabytes per second throughput. Uh, this spacecraft is, after the launch, is going to be positioned at 68 degree east longitude, uh, providing broadband services and in-flight connectivity, primarily on the Indian region. There are going to be uh, about 32 sport beams uh, covering India mainland island islands of this region. And primarily this is designed to also to enhance the capacity by providing eight narrow sport beams over the northeastern region of India which requires this support for uh, essential communication requirements. Fairing separation and second stage orbit insertion. Those fairing halves are being recovered by our recovery ship Bob and this was the fifth flight for one fairing half as well as the first flight for the other. We also did recover the first stage on our drone ship and that marks its 19th landing. Now we're just moments away from a second ignition of the MVAC engine on the second stage, and this will carry the GSAT N2 payload into the orbit, accelerating the payload, traveling well over 30,000 kilometers per hour at an altitude of 250 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. Three, two, one, ignition, and lift off. Go Falcon, go GSAT 20. Stage one landing line deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. GSAT N2 payload deploy confirmed. And there goes GSAT N2. You just heard that call out, and you can see the satellite moving away from the second stage on your screen right now. Thank you.